Hi, my name is Kara and this is Sarah and we're from Informatics. In today's video, we're going to be looking at some of the common reports available in Smarter Stats. As we talked about last time, Smarter Stats is a web analytic tool that provides you key data and metrics on the performance of your website. There are hundreds of data points and reports available in Smarter Stats, so we're going to take a look at some of the common and most used reports. One of the first questions everybody asks is how many people are actually visiting your website? This is what the traffic report in Smarter Stats will tell you. It shows you the number of people that have visited your site on a particular day, month, or throughout the year. This report is located in the Site Activity tab, and it's the very first report, Traffic Trends. As you can see, by default, it shows the, amount, the number of people that have visited your website broken out by day. Part of traffic is spiders and bots. And spiders and bots are automated software that index your website. So next we'll look at the spider and bot report, which can be found on the spiders tab. And we're going to look at the spider reports, which is under the traffic section. This report lists different spiders, such as the Google bot, or the Bing bot that may be visiting your site. And these are important because everyone wants to be found in search engines. So this report can show you which bots are traveling to your site and what kind of traffic they're drawing. In addition to the number of visitors that visit your website, the other common metric is to know how did they actually find your website. These are called referring sites. Referring sites range from people typing your URL directly into a browser. It could be a search engine, it could be social media, or it could be any other of the million websites out there. To locate this report, you'll go to the Site Activities tab and scroll down towards the bottom under Referrals where it says Referring Sites. This report shows you the actual URL or the domain that the website um, directed you to. Uh, one of the common ones on here is Google. Google is a search engine that obviously people will use. When they go to Google, they will actually be typing in keywords or phrases. Uh, knowing what those users, those users are typing in is helpful to understand from your SEO perspective. To see what keywords people are typing in, again, go to the site activity, and you'll go to the search engines section and click on phrases. This report actually shows you the particular phrases that a user has typed into a search engine such as Google or Bing. Often on this report, you will see your company's name uh, appear in many different so forms, sometimes with different spellings. Uh, what you would like to see in this section is actually a product or a service that you offer. This means that a user that wasn't familiar with your company or organization is finding you just by what you have to offer. And now that we know what people are using to get to your sites as far as keywords and phrases, we're going to look at what they're looking at once they've gotten to your site. So we're going to stay in the Site Activities tab, and we're going to look at the Top Pages report. And this is a report that lists different pages within your site. One important thing to note is that You'll only see part of the domain name, so whatever your primary domain extension is, like google.com, this is just what comes after that. And so this will tell you what people are looking at when they visit your site, and some of this might be things that you thought were the primary targets, and other things might be um, areas that you didn't know people were visiting, and so it might be important to make adjustments to those areas of your site. Next, we're going to look at what types of devices people use when they visit your site. So we're going to go to the Demographics tab, and we're going to look at the Devices report. And this report shows what type of device a user is um, using when they visit your website, such as a Windows PC, a Windows um, phone, iPhone, um, Mac PC, and these are becoming um, more and more crucial as 
people are spending less time accessing your site from a desktop computer. With, with recent changes to Google called the Google Hummingbird update, uh, they put more of an emphasis on making sure your website is accessible on multiple devices. So ensuring that a user can access your website, whether it be on a phone, a tablet, or on a desktop computer, is becoming more important. So monitoring this report is going to be helpful to understand how your users are actually interacting with your website. We've gone over some of the more common and high-level um, reports available within SmarterSet. But if you have any additional questions, feel free to contact us and check out our website at informaticsinc.com.